transmission part 2. You can see a system as shown here. There are three masses M1, M2 and M3 and you find two pulleys. Write the equation for this over here. We shall see here. For this the equation is as shown. M1 G minus T1 is equal to M1 A. The same way here we get T1 minus T2 as T1 is more you get here uh, the same as M2 A. Similarly if you write the equation here you get T2 minus M3 A. This will be equal to sorry uh, M3 G this will be equal to M3 A. Now, what is the acceleration upon this system? We have the formula acceleration A is equal to since M1 is more, we get here M1 minus M3 of G by M1 plus M2 plus M3. Similarly, if I want to write tension, the value of tension T2 is equal to just see here, here I want to find tension called T2, then here I get M3G, since here we have mass called M3G, so M3G of 2M1 plus M2 by M1 plus M2. Similarly, I can write tension T1 as, the tension T1 is equal to M1G of 2m3 plus m2 by m1 plus m2 plus m3 the total mass so here also we get m3 so we can find the acceleration and tensions as shown here so now suppose if you have the picture as shown you can find a yeah, different kind of pulley here now. How do you find tension here? We shall see here. First of all, here you see that M2A, sorry, M2G minus T is equal to M1. And this is one equation we get. And similarly, here we get, here you can find that acceleration A is equal to acceleration a could be found by the formula m2 minus m1 sin theta of g by m1 plus m2 since we have two masses we write there m1 plus m2 and in the same way if you want to write the value of tension you can write as follows here so here you get Tension T is equal to M1 M2 G of 1 plus sin theta by M1 plus M2. Now, the thrust acting on the pulley, which is nothing but the resultant tension, you can write as false. That is equal to root over T square plus t square plus 2t square cos 90 minus theta so this will become as shown that is equal to root over 2t square plus 2t square sin theta so this becomes root over take 2t square common here you get 1 plus sin theta this is the value of the resultant tension acting upon the pulley right now if you have the picture as shown for example this is one more model now here how do you find the tension and uh, the value of a we shall have a look here now first of all here you can write that m2 sin beta minus m1 sin alpha okay by m1 plus m2 
will give you the value of acceleration. Same way, now if you want to find the tension, it is as follows. Tension T is equal to M1 M2 of sin beta plus sin alpha of G by M1 plus M2. Now, if you want to find the resultant tension acting on the body, then you have the formula as shown here. So, here resultant tension Tr is equal to root over T square plus T square plus 2T square cos 180 minus alpha plus beta. 180 minus alpha plus beta. Okay, so that is equal to root over here we get 2t square minus 2t square cos alpha plus beta. So that is equal to root over 2t if you take common you get here 1 minus cos alpha plus beta. Thank you.